about uh, just the new year, you know? It's the new year, 2018. And, uh, you know, I think like many people, we all have uh, lots of goals and lots of things that, uh, you know, we want to do. Last year, I don't think it was a bad year. It was a, it was a good year for me, you know, like a, a good year. I got a lot of things done that I wanted. I got a lot of opportunities. I feel like last year was a year of getting opportunities, you know, but not maximizing the opportunities, you know. So this year, I really want to try to maximize all my opportunities. You know, I think I'm going to get up and wake up earlier. Um, I really, really want to be committed to my jujitsu. Um, I love jujitsu. It's just so good. It's such a, a mental uh, workout. I mean, it's definitely physical. I mean, you'll be sore and it definitely works your body. But the mental element of it is what I love, you know. Um, I love, you know, doing MMA training, like striking, kickboxing, boxing. But that's more for another thing. You know, I don't, I don't, I enjoy it, but I'm a, you know, I'm not, I, I would be lying if I said when I go in to spar with some of these guys, I'm not afraid. But that's the very reason why I do it. Because there's lots of things in life that you're going to be afraid to do. You're not going to want to always do certain things, but I feel like every time you step into the ring with something that gives you, that you're afraid of, you'll be able to, you know, overcome these fears. And this Saturday was one of the first times I was able to be relaxed. I still got lit up pretty bad, but I was relaxed the whole time, you know? And that's the, that's the important part. And then I'm my goal is to get to the point where I'm having fun. There's a kickboxer. Gosh, I gotta find his name. I'll find his name and I'll I'll post it in like the comments. But the him and his sparring partner, they're laughing the whole time and they're kicking the crap out of each other, like the crap out of each other. But the whole time they're having a good time. So I see my my uh, best friend Julian Williams, who owns the gym. He's a co-owner of the gym Fusion XL. In Orlando, Florida, you should definitely go there. Amazing facility, amazing classes. But when he's sparring, man, he's not. He's having a great time. And it's not just because he's good, but he's relaxed and he's not worried. Um, but yeah, so, you know, I just really want to try to be more disciplined this year. Um, another thing that I've, I found last year when I'm reflecting is that I did a lot of work for other people. And that's cool. I mean, you know, it's work. It's respectable. We got to pay bills. We have to make a living. But I just thought, I'm working so hard for other people. Why not work that hard for myself? You know? And maybe you're thinking that. Maybe you're thinking, maybe you have an idea for something, a company, a podcast like this. I'm starting this podcast at my house, not even with my full setup. But I just really was committed to getting this thing out. And I think that's important. You know, it's going to grow. It's going to get better. But the important thing is you have to start it. And so I really wanted to start it. And you have to start whatever it is that you want to do. You know, it's not going to be easy. Maybe for the first year, two years, hardly anyone's going to look. But. Hey. You're either going to fail or succeed. You know, 50-50. But if you work it, I I don't even think it's 50-50. But it doesn't even matter. If you want to do it, who cares if you fail or succeed? I want to have a podcast. I enjoy talking. I enjoy having conversations with people. I enjoy just rambling on like I'm doing. But so for me, whether I'm successful or I'm not, it's going to be a win. And um. But I think 2018 is going to be a good year. I've talked to some people. Everyone seems to have a good feeling, you know. I mean, it, but it's, you know, it's weird because everyone, it's so funny to me. I was, everyone always says, like, this is going to be my year, you know. <laughs> this is going to be my year. I've been in church, my season. And um, 
that always makes me laugh. You know, there's a song in, in, uh, that they sing in church. It's like, this is my season to reap what I have sown. It's like, man, what did you sow? You know, like, <laughs> I know, like, I've, I've sown some good, but man, it hasn't always been good. The homie has not always been the best person. So I don't know. But, you know, I don't feel like that this year. You know, I don't want to say it's just another year. But it is. You know, if I become a millionaire this year, just one more year, you know, who cares? I just, <laughs> I'll still be wanting 2019. I'll, you know, it's one day at a time. Enjoy the moment, be in the moment, and give it everything you have that day. I think that's all that matters. Give it all you have today. Don't fo I mean, don't focus. I mean, you got to have a plan. You got to be working towards something or else you're just standing still. But, you know, like I tell people all the time, maybe for the last two years, definitely last year. No, not 100% last year. But I would say about maybe 85 to 90% of my life last year. If I had that same life, plus a million dollars in my bank account, I would be so happy. So then that means I'm happy with my life. Now, we just have to up some, make some adjustments, do some tweaks, and maybe we can get the finances up too. But you have to really think about your life, you know? Because if you're not happy with your life, more than likely, adding money to that is not going to change. You're just going to have a lot of money and be unhappy. I don't know. It's a thought. I don't know anything. These are just my thoughts, my random thoughts, which I have. You know? I think it's good. Every year, I'm always tempted. Because the way I start my year off, or I end my year and start my year is in church. I think it's good. I mean, I know everyone doesn't go to church. It's not for everybody. But for me, it's good. You know, because I, I believe in God and I just want to let him know that he's important to me. Um, I know some, some people who like to write down their goals and, and things. I just think you need to start the year with intentionality. What are you trying to do? Where are you trying to go? You know? Simple. Anyway, so that was my first podcast. Thank you so much if you're still here. And just be checking out. We're going to try to get these things going once a week. Maybe we'll do twice a week. I don't know. We're going to have a lot of good people coming on, having some discussion. Feel free to write ideas, comments, whatever you're thinking. Love to hear from you. All right. Until the next time, take care.